longer have a tilt-up cabin on the machine. Our previous model, the TV250, tilted up, and I'm, you may have seen that on some of the demonstrations before on that model. We've gone up to a side bonnet that lifts up overhead. And one thing you'll notice, you know, a lot of the competition will see plastic hoods, and covers. This is all steel construction. And you can see we've repositioned our main valve rather than underneath the machine is now mounted here on the side. So you have very good access to your uh, lines group and your valve itself. Good access to the battery. You also have a small toolbox here. The pattern change valve is now located on the outside of the machine because our fuel tank is now underneath the operator station. So we had to reposition the pattern change valve so it's underneath the side bottom here. Hydraulic tank is here. You have a suction screen here and your filter is here. So it's very easy to access the hydraulic filter in the tank. Dual element air cleaner here. Um, we do have a very good uh, fuel filtration system. It's very important in today's, with today's engines that you have clean fuel. So we have a fuel water separator on the other side over there and then another fuel filter here to keep the fuel as clean as possible. Um, side by side radiator and oil cooler located here and then we have your uh, condenser for your air conditioning and your and a fuel cooler here and what that's doing is taking fuel that's already gone through the engine and takes it back and cools it off before it goes back to the tank to maintain an optimum temperature We've got very good access to the uh, dual element air cleaner you simply remove a wing nut here this compartment slides open so you have access to the radiator and oil cooler so you can clean them out. We try not to stack our radiator and oil cooler because we want the cleanest, freshest air reaching those components because it improves component life and longevity of the machine overall. You see the size of our radiator. It's very large, very robust. Um, you'll see on some machines smaller, uh, more automotive styled radiators. Ours are very large industrial size radiators to keep the machine at maximum or optimum operating temperature. So it helps us run cooler and more efficient. We have a brand new Yanmar turbocharged engine. So uh, we've got about 47.6 horsepower on the engine. And we feel like it's going to be a great machine for us for guys, especially out west, running at uh, high altitudes and things of that nature uh, due to the turbo on the machine. Increase of about uh, 10 horsepower over the 250, so we do have a more horsepower, so you're going to get better performance. It's also final tier 4. Um, you'll see the uh, DOC and the EPF here. So this machine does meet the final tier 4 uh, emission standards. EPA. This is a high pressure common rail system as well so again we go back to the clean fuel and how important that is. See our fuel water separator here it does have a filter inside as well um, but the high pressure common rail systems are running at pressures of 20 to 25,000 psi so it's critical that you keep the fuel very clean so that's why we, you'll see so many filters on the machine for the fuel system.